Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's complete uh, this example which we started in the previous video. So here we have these three queries user, post and comments. Okay. And these are the type definitions for user, post and comments. Okay. Now the only difference here is now we are starting we have started taking the argument as an input. Query as a string, right? That means you can pass the username, the post title, and then you can ask for the list of posts matching with this title, ask for the list of user matching with the particular ID or name. Okay, so the question here is how can we accept the argument, right? So we'll talk about it. Uh, I mean, how in the query and mutation you can pass the argument. Here, every resolver function, either query or mutation function, takes all these argument, arguments, context, and info. Okay, we are going to use this argument object to check if, this, if uh, from the query we are passing the query or not. Okay, so here we can just do a sim simple check. If from the arguments, if we are getting query, if we are not getting query, that means we can just return the users. And now we can also create the mock set of users that will just uh, list of users. So we can create some user list. Either let's create another file here mock.js. Okay, here we have a list of users and the list of posts. because this is what we are going to return and we also have a comments so we can return the comments also and the data structure is same uh, and we can do we can simply I think export const and we can import it there export const user right now we can import this mock data the users posts and contacts import everything from our file which is mock now what we are getting from here is list of users posts and comments Okay, we are good. And in the in the query, if you are not passing the username, what we will we are what we are doing is we are returning the list of users. And similarly, in the posts, first of all, we'll define the arguments here, same as the users. Same for the comments. And here also, let's comments I think we can return the the list of comments it's it so I think now our most of the errors should resolve because now we are returning the expected types okay uh, let's see what is the error here did you mean string okay unknown type somewhere we have return string small is it uh, I don't see I think it is talking about this and this is required I mean this is optional if it is required then you have to put exclamation saying that this argument is required for the query and now we can see this is our type definition, this is our resolvers and our server has started, right? Now if we go to our documents, re reload and documents this is, these are our new set of queries and here we can pass the name, let's say uh, what kind of user data we have in the mock we don't need to worry about passing the argument because we are not handling that right now. We are just saying if argument is empty, if we are not passing any argument. Let's see if I remove this. Then that can work. 
but now this is complaining let's say this is the curry and it is working fine similarly you can do the posts like i can add the posts and i will not pass uh, the query parameter so this is user this is posts and i can just submit this query and not return null okay let's see what it is users and the posts post dot title okay let's see we have title or not in the type definitions id title body okay in the mock data id title yes we do have that information id title body let's see why this is complaining uh, return null for non nullable fields post dot title let's see if i'm just hitting this only post dot title i mean this is because the title is required field and we are trying to run return an empty value so if i make it optional then it will start working but why it is complaining let's have a look okay yes this is the problem uh, i should return posts here not users because i did copy paste that caused that problem now everything should be fine you should be able to get the posts and comment that's it right but after this how can i get the nested data okay the user how can i get the the post and comment of a user inside a single request now i think this should start working as expected but if you remember the type post right post is returning this type post and it is having all these attributes if you see this it is going to return this post array and inside post we also have author information so how can i get the author information if i just put author here i can talk about id but where this information going is going to come from author dot id we don't have in the post we just only have the post array right which has id title body published but how can i capture the author information in the same aggregation right in the same request so here comes our additional types right we have till now we have created a simple type simple queries users posts and comments but here we can declare the types okay because in the comment how can you resolve the author information because this is a nested type because it is pointing to another type definition in the posts i am getting id title body published but i don't have information about author so can you tell me how should i resolve the author information similarly in the user there is a posts and comments how should i resolve both the posts and comments i don't have information in the resolvers so we are going to add that information here what we are going to do is let's say comment dot author right so if i want to populate the author information of the of that comment then there should be some common attribute i should look for let go to the mock data here we have the posts if i wanted to get the author there is a author id and from the author i can fetch this information right similarly there is a comment and there is a author information author id 3 okay i can fetch this information here so we can resolve this data through the resolvers okay when i'm saying is in the comments there is author property which is resolving to the user but i don't have it so how can i resolve it i need to define those types here in the resolvers parallel to the query so all the queries will be resolved here but let's say if there is a custom type how can i resolve post you can see inside a post type i think we have author so how should i resolve author information right so for that inside the posts we have author and author information how the author information is related to the parent object let's check that out here also it is going to we can pass the same set of argument and here we are going to use the parent object to get the selected user id okay and we can simply do this is important 
we can simply do return users dot find and I can just say give me that user where user ID is same as parent dot author okay uh, yeah so let's go to the post this is our post array and here we are talking about author right so inside a post we might be looking for the post ID right and this author so what is common there we are checking for this particular property parent dot author means we are looking for that user whose ID is same as the ID of the parent dot author which is available here so the author property in the post type is resolved similarly we can resolve the other types which let's say the comment inside comment type we have we have author property so it can be resolved in the same way comment context users dot find and parent dot author similarly uh, we have one more use case which is about the user here we have a user in the user type we have I think post and comment both so how should we resolve these both the properties posts and comments so this is posts and another one is comments there are two properties I need to resolve okay so I'm looking for a particular user information like let's say you got a user object right that has a user id so for the user object what i can do is wherever the author so i can use this parent id where parent dot id is same as uh, post dot author because here we are looking for the posts right so posts dot find and here also comments dot filter we can do simply filter because we are going to return an array we are going to return all the posts of that user and the comments so we can say okay give me all the data where post dot author is same as the parent dot id and comment dot author is same as the parent id i mean parent to user id this is the user id so give me all the comments where the author is the same user which this parent id is pointing to give me all the posts where the parent id is pointing to the same author that's it and now we can see that in the demo you should be able to see the nested data like a user with the posts user with the comments comments with the author post with the author okay so let's see that in the next video thanks everyone